Greetings and hello, people on internet tubes. It's been a very long time since I've touched redstone. Well, not touched redstone, but done a tutorial on it. So, uh, as inspired by Dark Newt saying he's rubbish at redstone, I thought I'd uh, do a little redstone basic tutorial, something I've been meaning to do for a very long time. So, uh, here we go. I just set out my kind of redstone laboratory. To show you, but um, to begin, I'm just going to show how redstone works generally. Um, is a switch. Um, when you have like a switch or whatever, something that powers redstone, it powers the block. It, like red blocks that I've got here are the uh, bo block that's being powered, so it will uh, power all the adjacent blocks next to it. So as you can see, it's um, powering the block below where this redstone is, the block to the side, this block here, the block that would be here where, where I'm kind of standing, jumping to, or well, I'll show you this one uh, here where the, where the piston is, and um, this block at the back. Um, you can't power the one above because the switch is there, so yeah. Same goes for this, um, this powers anything around the red block so to the sides below and the button is a bit different it because the button's on this block it's powering that block that you're pressing it so it will power underneath to the back and to the sides it will also power just in front of it which I'm not sure how I'm going to show that um, but anyway I haven't got the materials but yeah it will power just in front of it also so say if you had let me just get my inventory up. Um, so if you had a rail, for example, um, give myself some blocks. Show this off. Yeah, if you had like this, a rail on this one here. Oh, okay, maybe not that one. Is it this one that I used to do it with? It will power that. It will power just in front of this uh, button here. But anyway. Um, yeah, a redstone torch. It just power. It is pretty much the block that is being powered. So it will power here, 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 here. As you well know, but it won't power underneath. Um, okay. Moving on swiftly, I've got here. It's called an inverter. It's when you send a redstone signal to the to a block that has a redstone torch to the other side it will invert the redstone stick signal in this case it's turning it off and then it will power and then you'll have another one and convert it again invert it so here we're inverting it on and off by switching the switch so this is now on when before it was off and then the one at the end should be off there we go um oh get out get away uh. Yeah, you better. Anyway, yeah, here we've got. I've set up an old style clock. This is what I used to, how I used to set them up. This is. It has to have an odd number, and the idea is, um, in a circ, in a circle, you've got all well, the circuit. You've got these redstone torches inverting one another. So if I uh, disconnect this for now, what will happen is when I place this redstone torch. This will invert that one, that will invert that one, that will invert that one, that one, blah, 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 and it will go around in a circle. So essentially, it just goes around in a circle. And from one of these um, redstone wires, you can do this. So you could have something continuously turning on and off. I'll just uh, stop this from being annoying. Right, here is, this is how I set up clocks now. This is, as you can see, a lot smaller. I use free. Um, I'll if I uh, show you when it's on. What happens with free? It burns out after uh, so long because it's um, activating too quickly. So I put in a repeater just to delay the signal slightly. So I might have to destroy these and uh, re-put them in. It's slightly slower now, but it will stop it from burning out. Um, this switch here is on one of the uh, inverters on the back of one of the inverters. It allows me to turn it on and off. 
You can do that with um, with anything really. You could have um, a pressure plate on top, and it'll stop it when you're standing on top of it. But yeah, I'll just um, turn that off. So yeah, that's a basic clock for you. Um, as I said before, I've got a switch here, and the, it inverts this signal on the torch on the other side. The redstone on a block like this, it can uh, power this wire that's slightly below it here. Because it's um, powering the blocks around it, so adjacent, so it would be um, this one here. Uh, best do this with a uh, wall so you can actually see what I mean. So it'll be... Oh, inventory, come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. Got some uh, red, it'll be powering there and there. And this redstone place here, so it'll be powering there. And give me a second. Keep, t keep taking it out of my inventory. It's not very good, is it? There we go. So it'll be powering like that. So any places there where there is redstone, or like this block here, it will be powered. And as you can see, I've set up here a way you can send a redstone signal using inverters up a vertical line. So let me just get rid of all this crap again. I'm going to actually not take my blocks out this time because I seem to need them a lot. Oh, we knock my redstone torch off. That's not good, is it? So, um, yeah, see the uh, piston up there is going on and off. What's happening is this line's going up to this, inverting this to off. Then that's powering the block above, which is turning that one on. And that's powering the one above, that's turning that off. So then that's powering this redstone current to that off. So if I press that again, it'll turn it on when that torch up there is on. When that's off, it'll go down. This is um, an ore, uh, ore latch, so it's pretty much it's called that because it's either this one, this or this. So what this basically does is essentially create a switch, but with um, with buttons or pressure plates. So like if I press this button, you see this one will go on. If I press this button see this one will go on but turn this one off so this could be useful say if you were um, let's remove this button if you were going into a dungeon say in an adventure map and you hit let me restart it you walk through a door and you step on a pressure plate it will close the door behind you but activating the pressure plate won't work anymore so you can't reopen it um, next up we've got this, this is a AND latch, this is basically what it says on the tin, it's an AND latch, so both these torches have to be off in order for that to be, so if I've got one on and one off it won't work, if I've got both on it will work, if I've got both, both off it will be off. Um, you can invert this by uh, simply having it like this way, so when both are off, that's on. If both are on, that's off. Whereas before, it was the opposite. When both are on, that is on. Um, just to kind of explain repeaters a little bit better, I've set up this. Um, there's a repeater. You just simply you have to have it, see this arrow, it ha the redstone current has to be going through this arrow, if you um, switch it it will not work see, so it kind of restricts the current only going one direction um, I've set this up now, this is a way you can use repeaters to um, light up um, free like objects without um, having to do, well I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. Um, if I set it up like this it won't work because the redstone 
isn't going directly to these it needs to go directly so if I remove the middle one now it's going directly so those two will go up but I can't make the middle one go up as well so what I need in able to do this are repeaters so now they'll all go up at once there's a slight delay though since repeaters delay but so if you I'll show you the the original one the first piston I'm gonna make it day first piston goes up before the other two and goes down before the other two to uh, counteract that you can just simply put another, another repeat like that so they all go together but as I was going to show you here for like say if you're going to do timing for some sort of redstone um, you can use these move these repeaters along it delays it by an extra half second I think it is and it will allow you to do things like this which is quite fun. Woohoo! Yeah, that concludes my basic redstone tutorial for now. Um, I may you may do some more in the future if people request it. Um, please leave a like; it's very much appreciated. Um, and leave some feedback if you want to know if you've got any questions about what I've showed you or any questions about anything redstone. I'll try my best to answer them. So, uh, see you later.